Here we go again. Now, I've got a new challenge for you today. This is going to be our 400 challenge. You're going to need a couple things for this workout. Okay? One, you're going to need something you can perform some inverted rows on, a low pull up. Now, if you don't have a nice little dip station like this you can get under, um, you could always use a pair of high chairs, the end of a table. You might have a doorway attachment, uh, a pair of TRX straps, um, anything along those lines, okay? You want to be able to get down and roll yourself up. Another thing you may need is something to anchor your feet because you're going to be doing some standard full sit-ups today, okay? So you may want to anchor your feet underneath something. You shouldn't need any other equipment to do the basics of this workout. Now, should you choose to make this workout a bit harder for yourself, you may want to include some added dumbbells or resistance bands, uh, something of the nature. Okay? So, let me lay out the rules. One, you have four exercises. You're going to have push-ups. You're going to have squats. You're going to have sit-ups. And you're going to have inverted rows. Okay? Four exercises. You have to do 100 repetition for each exercise for a total of 400 repetitions in this workout. You're going to need a stopwatch because you want to see how fast you can get this done. Now, there's no rule into which order you need to perform the exercise. There is no matter of how many you need to complete per set or uh, per time you do the exercise. Only matters that you finish the total number of repetitions for each exercise and the total workout. So if you decide that you want to do 50 squats your first way out and you can only do 10 push-ups, that's okay. If you decide you're going to completely reverse that and you can do 50 push-ups but only 10 squats, that's okay. All you have to do is get the work done. Keep yourself under time. I'd like to see all of you keep it under 20 minutes, even if you're pretty new to this, okay? Um, if you can keep it down below um, 10, 8 minutes, something like that, uh, I'd love to hear some kind of response from you because um, that's a really fantastic time. Uh, I've only seen it happen a couple times uh, amongst some of my, my guys, so I'd really, really love to, to get any feedback from you guys. So I'm going to give you a quick rundown, okay? Push-ups. doesn't matter what kind of push-ups you do. You can change them up every time you do it. Standard push-up, narrow grip or diamond push-up, nice and wide. You want to elevate the feet. You want to put them up on the wall on a physio ball. You want to do some alternating med ball push-ups. Whatever you want to do, but they got to be push-ups, okay? Make them as hard as you can, and you're going to do 100 repetitions. So, straight down to it, and do some push-ups. Alright, quick set of push-ups. I'm going to move in, and I'm going to show you how to handle these inverted rows. Now, I want you to work either from a neutral or palms down position, okay? Much like if you're doing a pull-up. Not chin-ups, okay? We'll save those for another day. So, I'm going to get under my dip station. If you're a beginner, start with your knees bent, okay? Here, making sure you keep your hips up tight and row in. More advanced, straighten that leg out, hip up, and perform those rows. Now, remember, keep track. Use a piece of paper. I use a whiteboard most of the time. Keep track of your repetition. So I did six push-ups, and now I've done eight rows. So I make sure to mark it off as I go. Next, move in to my sit-ups. I lock my feet in under my, my sit-up bar here, my dumbbells. Walk back, knees bent about 90 degrees. I'm going to keep my arms up in front of me. Nice tight core, and I'm working it. Right? Starting to be a little warmed up by now, right? Next, we're going to work on squats, okay? Now, like I said before, you can modify these exercises. Make it harder if you must, but I suggest going through it one time first. You can add some weight to those if you need to, okay? Coming to our squats. I'm going to do some basic body weight squats. I'm going to square up, 
my feet, and I'm going to work on getting as parallel as I can. I want to get my hips back, get my shoulders up, weight on my heels, and get close to the close to parallel as possible every time. Now, maybe I'm just bored. I've done 50 of those, and it's like, eh, what can I do to make this better? Well. Whatever we got with dumbbell, we do some drop squats. Nice wide stance, weight holds down below, you sit, it touches, come up. Okay? There's no limitation to the style at which you do these exercises, okay? What I do want to see you do is work hard, work fast, keep that time running. I want to see you guys get best possible time. Now, I don't know how well anybody can see this. We have a nice little sign right here. 99 does not equal 100. Now, obviously 99 doesn't equal 100. Well, what does that mean? It means put in the effort, get the job done, and don't sell yourself short, all right? Every step you take is a step in the right direction. Every ounce of energy you put into your workout routine is every ounce that you're gonna get back from it. So, don't sell yourself short. Enjoy the workout, and I'll see you next time.